Hello guys, I'm Nazmul Hassan and today I'd like to show you an advanced CST feature about uh, controlling CST through MATLAB codes. And we usually use this CST API and some script file from MATLAB to automate the internal design and simulation process in CST. It's a very handy process and if you can learn this uh, process, you will be amazed at the powerful things that it can offer to us. So basically today we will design this 2.4 GHz patch antenna uh, with the whole geometrical design and the simulation uh, in CSG and we will invoke CSG through MATLAB codes. Uh, this will ease uh, the process and we do not need to perform any geometrical man manipulation in CSG to uh, complete this antenna design and simulation. So that will be uh, quite fun. So let's get it started. So in order to start this project, you have to download these two files. Number one is a MATLAB script file, which is an M file. And the second one is a zip file, which is a CST API file. And my good friend Simon Simonides uh, wrote this MATLAB code for me. So he's an excellent coder. And you can download these two files from these links. Just visit any of this site and you can you can download these files. Well, and then open the MATLAB and then check the directory path. So this is my directory path. And from this panel, browse to that directory path. Right. So uh, you have to paste the files that you have downloaded. So these two files, one is a script file, another is the zip file. All right. And then unzip this zip file and then create a new folder and name it results. Okay. Now you have to double click on this M file in order to open it. So this is the M file or the script file from which uh, we will invoke the CST platform uh, inside the MATLAB. And we can literally design the antenna without going to CST. And uh, you can see we can invoke CST from the MATLAB platform, right? So. That's a good feature. It's a very, very handy feature. And uh, basically we have to do some modification in order to run this M file. The first one is basically changing the API path. So we downloaded this API file in our directory. So just copy this directory path and then paste it here and don't forget to write down the uh, directory name of the API file API master okay great this looks good and then here we are using the default CSD units which is millimeter and gigahertz Basically, you can define your own units, but I'm using the default millimeter and gigahertz. And if you want to define your own units, you can do it from your home folder. And here on this couple of lines, 45 and 46, so we are defining the minimum and maximum frequency range for the simulation. And uh, here we are defining the boundary box and uh, minimum frequency is necessary in order to scale down the boundary properly so make sure you define the minimum frequency properly all right and this is the background material code it's by default a vacuum here we are defining the material one is copper another is the substrate fr4 
And these lines are the dimensions for the patch antenna that we are going to simulate. Okay, and I'm using this zero metal thickness, assuming it as a PC sheet. And here, these are the coordinate equations for the ground plane. This is for the substrate. And this is for the patch. This is for the empty space, that means the insert feed. And by this couple of line of codes, we are basically performing the Boolean subtraction function. We are subtracting the empty space from the patch. And this one is the microstrip feed line coordinate equations. Okay, so here we are performing the addition function. We are adding the patch and the microstrip line together to unify them together. And here we are defining the port. Since uh, uh, you can see the name field is substrate. It's very important because we have actually uh, uh, considered the metal thickness as zero. So it's just a PC sheet. The microstrip line is nothing but a PC sheet. So I am using this substrate to uh, to to select it uh, as one of the phase for the port. So that's why I have defined the substrate. And here you can see these are the whole all the port. Uh, equations and here I am defining the E field, H field, and the far field at 2.4 gigahertz. And then if we scroll down further, we'll get to uh, the time domain solver. This this line of code corresponds to the time domain solver. Okay. And last but not least, we have to define the results path. And this is the directory that we created a moment ago, if you remember, right. So, in the same manner, we will copy this path. And then, we will paste it. Right. And then results. Looks great. And then uh, these are just uh, listened as parameter graph. And that's all. We are ready to go. Just save it and then press run button. And then you will see CST will pop up automatically. And everything will start to uh, initiate automatically without our interference. Do you notice that? The simulation is running automatically. I haven't done anything. So that's a very powerful feature from MATLAB that we can invoke and perform any function of CSD from MATLAB. And uh, we haven't touched CSD to design this patch antenna. Isn't it amazing? It's really it is. Great. So I would recommend you all to learn this process, this MATLAB invoking. And this is this parameter graph. This one one graph shows us that the antenna resonates uh, almost at 2.4 gigahertz. And this is the far field pattern, radiation pattern of the patch antenna. And you can see nice broadside radiation pattern. And the directivity is 6.83 dBi. Well, we can also uh, observe the surface current. This is the surface current. And this is the absolute value. Well, let's define it maximum 10. But we have to select a patch to see the surface current on the patch. And then, uh, yeah, this one is a surface current on the patch alone. All right. Let's 
looks good and this is the vectorial surface current plot the direction of the arrow indicates the direction of the surface current the j vector so you can pretty much do anything from MATLAB uh, so it's a very powerful feature by <coughs> this uh, MATLAB script file it can perform all the functions of CST without going to CST so thank you very much for watching and don't forget to like this video and please subscribe to my youtube channel